Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Revelio. Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened? Aunt's knocked to... You don't know that he get you answers about Slither? Hmm. Very well. I shall tell you what I... I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with trees. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Dark, Revelio. ominous. Remember, three braziers are involved. <laughs> Someone Come on, was that was a good listening. one. I do that. Occasionally. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. Repairer. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave. Rebellion. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Between the Gaunt? Ominous, your family was Between here. the two of us. 
I know. I... She was my aunt. Never mind. You knew? Ominous. I didn't tell the me. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. There's no clear way for Aunt Noctua kept my... Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to from. be difficult to solve. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely Fearless. at East Gate for clues. Lumos. The dial requires focus. Aunt Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. Revelio. <laughs> Nice work. Lumos. Confringo! Revelio. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world for it. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio, Lumos. Revelio. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Lumos. Nice work. Revelio. Confringo. Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was Lumos. rewards. Keep going. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos.
Another... not the welcoming sort, was he? Excellent work. We're another step closer to the Scriptorium. Revelio. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Revelio. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again. <sighs> then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton, and Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But Revenia. I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. Good. Work your magic. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous, I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable. I over? Sebastian told me. Should have known he would have told you. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cru- Ridiculous! <sighs> Wait, you didn't say you knew how to- because I'm not sure I do. Ominous no- I think I can cast it. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio. Hold on as long as you can. Ready? I'm ready. to make it stop. <laughs> but I'm right. uh, let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Oh, I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. 
Let me know what's in it. Revelia. Oh, around with it. May I have a look? What do you think? Looks like a spellbook of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts Founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. Revenia. It's breathtaking. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Revelio. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, Never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. <laughs>